this video will cover the following learning objectives. First, learn the reasons of withdrawal or retirement of partners. Second, learn the accounting procedures and partnership dissolution through withdrawal of a partners. What do you think will be the reason or reasons for a partner to retire or withdraw? The reason might be due to his insolvency or incapacity. When we talk about insolvency, generally speaking, it refers to situations where a debtor cannot pay the debts she owes. Simply stated, it is the condition of not having enough money to pay debts when it matures, buy goods, and many more. While incapacity means that the partner lacks physical or mental abilities that results in a person's inability to manage his or her own personal care. So this is maybe due to poor health or maybe due to mental disorder. Since partnership is formed based on contract and on the trust and confidence of the individual to each other, the withdrawing partner must first obtain the consent of his fellow partners. In addition, in the absence of a stipulated amount in the partnership agreement, the partners must determine among them the amount of the retiring partner's capital refund or what we call the capital balance. Whenever dissolution is made due to withdrawal or retirement of a partner, he may sell his interest to the outside party or to the remaining partner or partners or to the partnership itself. If the interest is sold to outside party, the accounting procedure to apply is in the same manner as that of admission of a new partner by purchase of interest of an existing partner. The discussion for the topic was already discussed last week, but to refresh ourselves, let us have this illustration. We have here three partners named Ace, Brennan, and Cute, who are partners engaged in book distribution and they share profits and losses in the ratio of 30%, 30% and 40% respectively. Brand decided to withdraw from the partnership when the records of the capital balances were as follows. For Ace, we got here 500,000, for Brand, 500,000 and for Cute, 250,000. The requirement here is to journalize the withdrawal of Brand if his total interest is sold to Julia for 550,000. Please take note that we have two parties here. We have here the first party, the selling party, which is the withdrawing partner brand, and the second one, the buying party, the new partner named Ace. As discussed in my previous topic, the transaction here between the selling and buying partner is personal in nature. Hence, the journal entry is to debit capital account of the selling partner and credit the account of buying partner. So this is our journal entry. What can you observe in our answer? We did not record the 550,000 payment of Julia to Bren. Instead, we only record its book value, which is the 500,000. Please note that the difference of 50,000 is a personal gain of brand, which is our withdrawing partner. Let us move on to the next topic, wherein the interest is sold to the remaining partners. I will be using the same problem, except for the case that the full interest of the withdrawing partner brand is sold to the remaining partner A's for 450,000. And the requirement here is to prepare, to prepare the journal entry to record the withdrawal of brand. The accounting procedure here is same with the first case that I just discussed. Interest of withdrawing or, or time partner is sold to outside party. So our entry would be debit brand capital 500,000 and we will credit ACE capital 500,000. But how about if interest of withdrawing or retiring partner is sold to the partnership? If that would be the case, then it will result to the reduction of the firm's assets, either cash or non-cash, and along with this, 
the cancellation of the withdrawing partner's capital. The withdrawing partner may receive payments first at book value or maybe less than book value or more than book volume. The accounting procedure is commonly used when the partners purchase the interest of a drawing partner would be first adjust the assets of the firm to their fair market value before accounting for the retirement of the partner and lastly record the retirement. Let us have this problem. Case number one wherein the interest is sold to the partnership at book volume. The thing to remember here is that the payment to withdrawing partner is equal to his adjusted capital balance. Hence, this is basically capital refund and no bonus. To best understand the topic, let us take this problem. We have here three partners named Josh, John, and Jandi showing the capital balance of each partner and their profit and loss ratio. Now, the problem here is on how to prepare the journal entry if this is the case. Assume that Jandi is withdrawing from the partnership and he agreed to be paid 250000 Please note that 250000 the supposedly payment of the partnership to Jandi, is equal to the book value, which is just one. Of course, the journal entry would be then is to debit the capital account of the withdrawing partner Jandi and will credit the cash payment of the partnership which is 250000 And of course, please don't forget to record the, the, the explanation rather which is to record retirement of Jandi. And I do hope that this slide will help you understand the accounting procedure on how to deal the withdrawal or retirement of a partner if the interest of the retiring partner is sold to the partnership at its book value. How about if the case if the interest is sold to the partnership lesser than the book value? It means here that the withdrawing partner will receive payment which is less than the withdrawing partner's adjusted capital balance or capital credit. Hence, it is assumed that he is giving a portion of his interest to the remaining partners as bonus. The bonus shall be distributed to the remaining partners based on their profit and loss ratio. We'll be using same problem except that Chandi agreed to be paid 230000 cash for his total interest in the partnership. As you can observe, Chandi capital balance is 250000 but he will be receiving 230000 which is less than the book value of his interest. The entry would then debit Jandi Capital 250000 credit cash for the payment of the partnership 230000 and the difference of 20000 will be allocated or distributed among the remaining partners based on their profit and loss ratio. So therefore, 20, 000, the share of just, of course, will be with this computation. 20,000, that is the difference between 250 and 230, multiplied with the ratio, that is 2 over 5 or 20 over 50. So that will give us 8,000. For John, 20,000 times 30 over 50. That will give us 12,000. And of course, the explanation. All right. This slide shows the entry to record retirement of John D, okay, who received lesser than his capital credit. But how about if the payment to John D is 260000 which is more than the book value or more than his adjusted capital credit? What is the treatment then to the 10000 excess over the book value? It is assumed that the partnership is giving bonus to the withdrawing partner Janti. So this is our journal entry. We debit Janti Capital 250,000 
and the bonus to the partners distributed according to their profit and loss ratio. For just we have 4,000, for Jan we have 6,000. And we will credit cash payment of the partnership, which is 260,000. And of course, the explanation of the transaction. All right, to record retirement of Chandy. All right, I finished the presentation of the various scenarios wherein it discussed about the withdrawal or retirement of a partner wherein the interest is sold to the outside party, to the remaining partners, and last scenario is that the interest is sold to the partnership in various scenario first, equal to the book value, second, lesser than the book value, and finally, more than the book value. By this time, I would like to evaluate you if you learned from my discussion. Okay, let us have this problem. We have three partners named Annie, Belle, and Chris. They engage in selling various office supplies and they share profits and losses in the ratio of 3 to 3 to 4. Where Chris is our uh, withdrawing partner. Okay, and these are the data given in our problem. So we don't have here the adjusted capital balance yet. So you have to compute it first, how to do that one. That is beginning capital balance, less withdrawals, plus additional investment. That will give us the adjusted capital balance of three partners. Of course, the requirement here, you're required to prepare the journal entry to record the withdrawal of Chris from the partnership under each of the following independent cases if Chris is to receive first 250,000, second 200,000, and finally that is 275,000. Okay, you must have this problem, uh, this answer rather. Please compare it to your break. Did you get it right? I hope that you did. And for the next scenario, if the withdrawing partner Chris will, will receive 200,000, okay. Again, you will compare the book value. The book value of the withdrawing partner is 250,000 and yet she will receive 200,000. So this transaction is the withdrawing partner will receive lesser than her book value. So this must be your entry. And the last one, wherein Chris will receive 275,000, that is more than her book value, so you must get this following entry.